So let's head to 2021. And this is where you're actually um, seeing this this equalisation or, or closer yeah. to the similar spend per hectare brin, which I think you were alluding to before. So, you know, in that year, 2021, um, which you can see was from an income point of view, the top 25% were slightly under 110,000, um, a little bit better result um, from the average of the industry, but the costs, the cost per hectare virtually between the bottom 25% and the top were virtually negligible. So, yeah. The growers are spending similar on operating costs per hectare, but the best growers are getting more saleable yield and income. Yep. Now, the question will be out there maybe is, are these growers in the top 25 getting better price for their product? Now, in 2021, the average, the difference between the bottom, the average and the top 25% was one cent per kilo. In price. Well, that answers that question. So it's not a price thing. It's actually all about saleable yield and what you spend to actually get that saleable yield. So a really interesting result and data set across the poem industry across those years. So that was 2021. And I think if you put the two years together, the difference in um, price received per kilo for all growers in the data set was five cents a kilo. So not very much at all. Yeah. All right. Um, so in that year, again, we can see the apple Similar yield thing. driving, so just under 10 tonnes per hectare. So that's really the, and this is this is the average yield across all varieties, and this is saleable yield. Um, operating efficiency, again, the best are under under the 70% target, and our poem income per hectare. You know, the gap is closer between the average of the industry and the best, and, and 2021 wasn't the best, um, best yield and, and price year. Uh, but and a return on capital shows that I think is at six percent for the best, and the average of the industry sitting at just under four. So a tougher year again in 2021 for for apple growers. Yeah. 